One of the most anticipated events in modern astronomy is the explosion of Betelgeuse, a colossal red supergiant star glowing on the shoulder of the Orion constellation. Known for its deep red hue, Betelgeuse shocked astronomers in late 2019 when it unexpectedly dimmed, a change so noticeable it could be seen without a telescope. For a moment, the world wondered, was this the beginning of the end? Telescopes around the globe turned toward the star. Observatories confirmed the dimming was real, not an optical illusion. But just as mysteriously as it faded, Betelgeuse regained its brightness, leaving scientists with more questions than answers. When will Betelgeuse explode? And what will it mean for Earth? Betelgeuse is no ordinary star. It's among the brightest in our night sky and the largest red supergiant visible from Earth. Its name, rooted in Arabic, translates roughly to the armpit of the giant. Its distance from us is still being refined, somewhere between 430 and 724 light years away, but even at that range, its size and brightness make it a standout. To put its scale in perspective, Betelgeuse is roughly 16 to 20 times the mass of our Sun, and it radiates over 100,000 times more light. If placed at the center of our solar system, it would swallow Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. This stellar giant is losing mass rapidly, shedding material into space as it nears the end of its life. Surrounding it is a vast nebula formed from its own stellar wind, hundreds of times wider than the star itself. Deep within, nuclear fusion is shifting gears. After burning hydrogen, it began fusing heavier elements like helium and carbon. Eventually, it will form an iron core, the death sentence for stars this massive. When that happens, Betelgeuse will collapse under its own gravity and explode in a supernova, one of the most powerful events in the universe, unleashing as much energy as billions of suns. Historically, Betelgeuse has intrigued civilizations. Ancient astronomers in China once described it as yellow, suggesting it may have transitioned from a yellow supergiant to red, supporting the theory that it's entering its final evolutionary phase. Unlike our sun, which has billions of years left, Betelgeuse is living on borrowed time. It pulses in brightness on a five-year cycle, expanding and contracting like a cosmic heartbeat. The dramatic dimming event of 2019 to 2020 was the most extreme yet, raising hopes and fears that the explosion was imminent. The star is moving swiftly through space, about 30 kilometers per second, creating a bow shock in the interstellar medium that stretches four light years wide. Despite centuries of observation, pinning down its exact size and distance remains tricky due to its irregular nature. In a stunning breakthrough, the European Southern Observatory, ESO, captured a gas plume extending 30 astronomical units from the star, nearly the width of our entire solar system. In 2019, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope observed a rare phenomenon now known as a surface mass ejection, SME, where Betelgeuse expelled an enormous cloud of In a breathtaking astronomical milestone, the European Southern Observatory, ESO, captured detailed images of a colossal gas plume erupting from Betelgeuse, a plume stretching nearly 30 astronomical units wide. That's roughly the size of our entire solar system, a staggering display of stellar volatility from one of the universe's most iconic red supergiants. But the real turning point came in 2019, when NASA's Hubble Space Telescope detected something never before seen on this scale, a surface mass ejection, or SME. Unlike the coronal mass ejections we sometimes see from our Sun, this event was vastly more violent. Betelgeuse expelled a gigantic cloud of stellar material, estimated to be hundreds of billions of times more massive than any solar flare recorded from our own star. This explosive outburst likely explains the mysterious dimming event observed in late 2019 and early 2020. As this thick cloud of ejected material cooled and condensed into dust, it began to obscure the star's light, veiling its brilliance in a dark, cosmic fog. 
Some scientists believe it wasn't just the dust, there may have also been a partial collapse or disturbance in Betelgeuse's outer atmosphere that contributed to the sudden fade. But the mystery only deepened. By mid-2020, a second dust cloud formed, plunging the star into an even deeper dim phase. This wasn't just a one-off flare-up, it was a pattern of behavior that hinted at complex and possibly unstable processes taking place inside the star. In response, astronomers turned their gaze to the most advanced observatory available, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. With its powerful infrared sensors, JWST began peering into the cold, dense clouds of gas and dust that Betelgeuse had thrown into space. Infrared light can pass through dust, allowing scientists to look beneath the veil, and what JWST is now uncovering is offering unprecedented insights into the late stages of red supergiant evolution. Some researchers suspect that Betelgeuse may still be recovering from the violent ejection, its outer layers vibrating, convecting, and shifting as it attempts to stabilize. The star appears to be undergoing pulsations or shock waves, possibly triggered by deep internal changes. These could be signs of helium and carbon fusion progressing, or the early signs of the core approaching the critical mass where iron begins to form, an irreversible step toward collapse and supernova. Whatever the mechanism, Betelgeuse has now become a natural laboratory, giving astronomers a front row seat to the death throes of a giant. By watching this star, we are slowly learning how the most massive stars end their lives, blasting heavy elements into the galaxy and helping to enrich future generations of stars and planets. And yet, despite its dramatic behavior, Betelgeuse poses no threat to Earth. A supernova would need to occur within 50 light years to have any significant impact on our planet, and Betelgeuse is safely over 600 light years away, well outside the danger zone. When it finally explodes, it will be a celestial spectacle, not a hazard. Astronomers predict that when the explosion happens, Betelgeuse will rival the full moon in brightness. It may cast shadows at night, be visible during daylight hours, and shine steadily in the sky for weeks or even months before fading into a lingering afterglow. It will be a once-in-a-lifetime event, one that could be etched into human history, just as the supernova of 1054 left a glowing remnant we still see today, the Crab Nebula. But here's the great cosmic riddle, no one knows exactly when Betelgeuse will go supernova. It could happen tomorrow morning. Or not for another 100,000 years? Time, on a cosmic scale, is vast and unyielding. Human lifespans are but blinks in the grand story of stars. And so, we wait, with telescopes aimed skyward and curiosity burning bright. Will we be the generation that witnesses a nearby supernova with our own eyes? Will Betelgeuse finally burst and light up our skies in glorious farewell?